everybody is aware the CDC did issue new guidance yesterday, specifically in regard to masking. Um, and the main point for us from uh, this, this particular guidance, which we support completely from the public health perspective, is that masking is still important in our community. We know that we still have over 50 or close over 50% of our population that is not fully vaccinated. We know that our numbers are continuing to increase. Unfortunately, over the past week, we've been averaging between two and 300 cases a day. As of today, we already have reached close to 400 new cases being reported. So we know that our numbers are going up. Um, we also know that we are seeing some breakthrough cases and that individuals who have been fully vaccinated have the potential, are not always infectious, but have the potential to be infectious. And lastly, we know that our children are getting ready to go back to school and many of them cannot be vaccinated. So all of those were reasons why the CDC recommended for those communities who have significant to high risk of transmission, which Mecklenburg falls into the high risk transmission category based on CDC metrics, um, that everybody mask indoors, including people who are fully vaccinated. And those who are unvaccinated continue to mask outdoors when they cannot socially distance. So again, we are very supportive of that particular guidance from the CDC. The other point that I will make that is critical, I believe, is that we are still recommending vaccinations as the way for us to get out of this pandemic. We still need more people in our community vaccinated. That's got to be our primary message moving forward. Um, the masking is uh, the mitigation piece that we need to add to that based on the CDC guidance. So um, vaccines are still critically important and we need to make sure that people are being vaccinated. Our particular situation here, we are seeing greater than 50% of our cases in our 18 to 39 year olds in this county. And right now the six in the 18 to 24 age range, only about 16.5% of that population is vaccinated. So um, we're seeing more cases in our younger population and we are seeing less vaccinations there. So we know we need to continue to work on that. Um, and an, one more point is that we are seeing increases in almost every zip code in the county. So it's not as if there are just specific places where this is happening. So we need people to pay attention. We need people to get vaccinated. We need people to wear masks. And lastly, because I know you're going to ask this question, is the county is continuing to have conversations about how we're going to address this from the county specific um, perspective. I don't have answers around that. Those conversations will continue to happen over the next couple of days. But I do want to reinforce the fact that from a public health perspective, we support um, the guidance that came out from CDC yesterday.